Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix iOS 18 unable to install on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, generally, this comes because there's a couple of reasons, and we want to go ahead and follow these steps. First thing is, if you want to, you can go ahead into your settings, right, and then check under general software update. And just simply retry to update again and hopefully you can just update it now one other thing you can do if it doesn't update is schedule the update later the reason why you want to do that is sometimes when you try to update right away it doesn't update because it hasn't fully downloaded so try to update later as an option now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure your phone has enough charge so to install any update your phone if you pull down the menu here to see the battery percentage it needs to be 50% or more. I recommend just connecting to a charger and that should allow you to click on update now if it's grayed out. And you wanna keep it connected while it's doing the update. The update can take away somewhere between uh, 15 to 30 minutes sometimes depending on how much uh, your phone has and how much power it's being delivered there. Now, if it's still unable to in, un install here, pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off as well as the solution. Along with that is I recommend is whenever you're doing the update, make sure you're on Wi-Fi instead of cellular data. It will help with the connectivity to the internet, making sure there's no issues with it. Along with that, in the settings here, you wanna go to general and then go to iPhone storage. You wanna make sure your phone has enough storage to actually install that iOS 18 update. Recommended at least, I would say 10 gigs free. It will show you how much space you have here. I have 93 gigs available. If you don't have enough, delete some apps or any little videos, photos to clear up until you have 10 gigs or more. Now, after you have done that and it's still not able to install, the next thing you wanna go ahead and make sure that under your settings for your battery, if you have low power mode turned on, turn that setting off as well while you're connected to a charger or your phone is at least 50% or more charged. Now, if it's still not working, you wanna follow this step, which is you're gonna press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'm gonna do it volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button and I'm gonna wait for the screen to go completely black and I see the Apple logo appear before letting go of that side button. And this is gonna be known as a force restart, a very safe method and one of the number one troubleshooting steps when it comes to fixing any issues with your phone. As you saw, once you see the Apple logo, simply let go of that side button. This will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, music, data will still be on your phone. You don't have to worry about that. And basically after you do that, it's still not working. The next thing to do is go into your settings, go to general, go to general here, and then go all the way down here. It says transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset. This time you're gonna reset all settings themselves. Now the settings, are not your data, so all of your data will be there. It basically will reset things like network related settings, which are basically saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices, any custom keyboard uh, dictionary that you have added, added, any custom home screen layout, and any location privacy settings itself. But it's important to do this step, especially if you still can't get iOS 18 to install on your phone. And hopefully after doing that, iOS 18 is able to install on your phone. Now, if it's still not, another alternative way to install iOS 18 is doing it through your computer. If you have a MacBook or PC or laptop, it doesn't matter, it will work. Uh, we show you how to do that on another video because it does take a little bit longer. We're gonna link you guys to that video in the comment section or in the description section. You can go to that link on how to install iOS 18 using uh, your computer. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.